hello. Right, this is my third time trying to do this over the weekend. Um, Friday, I tried doing a video, but I got impressively drunk, and you know me, I, I hate my drunk content, a lot of people like it, but whenever I try and watch it the day after, I'm just like, it's terrible, so I deleted it. And then on Saturday I tried doing it, but I was quite hungover and groggy, and I was just like, I don't know what I'm doing, so I canned that. So today, I'm going to do one, it's going to be great, and then I'm going to do a Terry's Gauntlet later, because I'm feeling in a really good mood. I had a driving lesson with a um, new driving instructor, a lovely lady, um, went out for a drive with my sister and had a grand old time. So, you know, we got, got some, what is it, crunchies and aero mint bubbles and tasty, so I ate all that there. I ate it as soon as I got back, I'm like, <laughs> anyway, um, move that further away, because uh, there was a little bit of feedback on, I think it was the last Terry's Gauntlet, and it's a bit nasty. Anyway, um, we, as you can see, there's a replay here, and the reason there's a replay here is because I believe in my last showdown video, uh, I said that I was really crap at battling, because I was in the GBA D-League thing, and um, I did actually win one of my matches against uh, Sharply Dressed Gaming, I think, and um, you know, it looked like I could have made it in, but John Origins managed to get a clean sweep and beat everyone. So, uh, not in that. But um, the thing I said was that, you know, I'm actually quite crap at Pokemon. And Artemis Grey, who has been pulling his weight on the comments, nicely done, Artemis Grey. Nicely done. Said, um, he, uh, he, he says that I'm a, he thinks I'm a good battler and that I do some weird shit, but looking at my NU escapades, you know, I've obviously got to be at least reasonably good, because I did hit number one quite a few times, and you don't really do that by just getting constantly lucky. You know, I obviously made a team that was quite good, that fit the tier quite well, and I understood its limitations and what I could do with it. And I'm like, true, but I still don't think I'm especially good. However, I thought about it a bit more, and maybe it's just because I'm English. Because, for me, you know, it's one of those things, like, if you say you're good at something, for some reason, in my mind, I view that as cockiness. I shouldn't do. But, you know, it's like, it's kind of an English thing to be very modest. Like, I remember when I went to Germany on an exchange trip, and, you know, the, the mum of the guy that I went on the exchange trip with was like, so how much German do you know? And I'm like, oh, I know nothing. I'm terrible at German. I've been learning it for two years. I was like, yeah, I know nothing. And so she took that as like, oh, this person's very stupid. I'm now going to teach them everything in German that I can. And that wasn't quite what I meant. I'm just like, I'm really bad at it, but I'm not. It's kind of... You know, it's a modesty thing. So, I don't like saying I'm good at battling, because I know there's people out there that are a lot better, and whenever I say it, I just feel really smug. It's a very smug thing, like, ugh, I hate that idea of smugness. That's me. That's a personal thing. But since he has said I'm good, and a lot of people do say I am good, I still don't necessarily agree with them, but I can kind of see where they're coming from with the logic, at least. So, I figured I may as well at least show a battle that I had earlier today, where I was kind of on my shit. It's been a while since I've been properly on it, like, since uh, Spirit Tomb got banned from NU, I haven't felt, like, properly, properly in a battle. But this, this one was in UU, it was quite good, so we'll do that, and then I'll talk about the Megas later, because it's the third time I've tried talking about them, and like I say, Friday, really drunk, no, just incoherent stupidity. Saturday, I was really groggy, so, again, incoherent stupidity, but today, I'm on it, so, yeah, let's go. Anyway, let's turn the fucking sound down. The last two times I do it, I start a battle, I'm like, ah, oh, Jesus! Okay, so it's against Bob the Bay, and I'm on the other side. So, I eat off with a Zelf, he's eat out with a Noiva, and obviously, I'm not gonna hang around for that. So I go to Diancy, and here comes a Gliger. Now, um, we're just both gonna exchange stealth rocks, it makes sense. However, this guy got us a crap under Diancy. I'm slowly noticing that Diancy is not bulky. At all. Not in the slightest. So I'm gonna leg it. I can know I can go back into his elf, I can go knock off. He's just gonna default, clear the field of rocks. Rocks matter a lot more on his side than it does on mine. But he's gonna go into Arcanine, and I'm gonna just knock off. It's gonna, like, bulky Arcanine is so good these days. But I'm okay, and I do have Diancy to switch in. I can just get up my Stealth Rocks again. I don't mind eating a Wisp, because nothing else really wants to eat it. Suicune has no recovery. Nidoking can, I guess, but he's got a Blissey. In fact, as you, if you've noticed, he has a Weezing, a Gligar, um, an Arcanine, and a Blissey. Bit scummy. Anyway, I go for another Moonblast. Um, get a lot of damage, and I know I can just go safely into Suicune, and I figured he would probably try and go into Blissey, so I pull the trigger to Celebi, 
and it works quite well. I do go for an SD here, and unfortunately, he is actually going to trick me. Choice specs. Now, that's fairly poor. Celebi, really very good when it sets up, so I was a bit disappointed in that. But um, he's going to go into Arcanine, thinking it's bulky, or a lot bulkier than it is, but without lefty, Celebi's going to 2-it KO that. So, I know I may as well just stay and go for another one. Um, I am going to miss that one, but I know I can just go straight out into Suicune and scare off his Gligar. As long as I've got Suicune, I don't have to give a shit. So I'm just going to make, you know, the same kind of play again. I can predict around the um, Virigion very easily. And um, I, that's a CB as Elf, and it doesn't even do it Co-Bliss. I was a bit disappointed in that. And they usually the Protect. So he's got three physical walls and a Wish Bliss. What a dick. Anyway, um, I know I can set up Stealth Rocks, because if he wants to go Wish, I can just go, you know, for a move on the next turn. So I just need to make sure that I'm in that kind of, you know, mindset of, I need to make sure his, his Arcanine is nearly dead. I know whatever the fuck I really go for, he's going to die next to, you know, if he tries to bring it in on a wish. So I just had to make sure Diancy was there. And now that he's dead, I can go into Toxicroak. He really can't do anything. He has to go into Weezing. It's his only real shot to live it. Because I could go Gonk Shot, hurt the Virizion a lot, Ice Punch, hurt the Virizion a lot, whatever. But um, I now have to go into Suicune and eat the burn. I'm not exactly pleased. As you can, well, actually, no, you can't see, but I do ask him why he has three physical walls and a wish bliss. It's very cunty. But um, he's going to go with Virigion. I didn't actually switch out that time. And I go for an Ice Beam, and it does nothing, really showing just how fucking bulky Virigion is. But I figured I kind of need my Celebi, I need my Toxicroak. So I just go a Sacker's Elf. Not the best play, but with Weezing and Arcanine and Gliger, it would not do nothing. But Scarf Needle King will outspeed him, and now I can just go into Toxicroak again, and I can just keep doing this. And I go Ice Punch this time, because I think I'd kill the Arcanine with Ice Punch regardless. I might be wrong. But if he wants to chance the Gliger, fine. If he wants to go to Weezing, I'm not too fast. But, um, you know, I hit the Gliger, take that out, and that is a huge thing, because the only other thing that can handle it is Nidoking and Blissey just walls. Nidoking. Anyway, I go for a Hydro Prompt, mainly because I just need damage on the Weezing. It needs to get down there. But um, I can just keep playing this game. He didn't even wish there. He goes for a, a Seismic Toss, trying to whittle down Toxicroak, which doesn't make any sense. But um, I figured he'd go into Weezing there. I can go into Celebi. I can go Zen Headbutt. Nothing wants to eat this. So yeah, go for the Zen Headbutt. It does 50% and I get a flinch. That was huge. He could have burnt me, started pain splitting. That would have been terrible. But he has to go back into his Blissey. Blissey actually takes that fairly well, to be fair. But um, I know I can keep hitting it down. He's going to have to wish here. And I can predict the Protect go back out into Toxicroak. And because his Weezing is so low, after Stealth Rocks... You know, a Gonk Shot will have it. Ice Punch might do, but I kind of have to go Gonk Shot. I believe I might go Drain Punch, though. Yeah, I go Drain Punch. Safer play. But um, that means Arcanine's dead, so I'm really making some headway. And in comes Noivern. I know I have to leg it. Suicune, weakest thing at this point, because Gligar's dead. I don't care. And he eats a Draco. Noivern is also Life Orb now, so he's taking a crap ton of damage. I know I can go into Toxicroak. Here he makes a massive blunder and goes Switcheroo and gives me a Life Orb. Now, he has to attack there, and now I'm life orb, so I will definitely kill. But, you know, it just kind of comes down to, can I get Toxicroak in on a Blissey, and then kill it like that? Because if he, if he wants to go into Blissey here, fine, whatever, he eats it. If he wants to go Seismic Toss as I bring Toxicroak in, I don't care. You know, he's going to die. So I go, you know, I go Fire Blast, get a bit of damage, go into Toxicroak. I know... Depending on if Toxicroak digs me, I should win from here. He's gone for a wish, don't care. Stealth Rocks, Gonk Shot, dead. And then I Drain Punch for the win. And I'm like, I, I felt really good in that battle, you know? Like, I still think it sounds really cocky to say, oh yeah, I'm really great. But I killed a guy, or I beat a team that had a Weezing, a Gliger, an Arcanine, and a Blissey. He was a bit psychic weak, and pretty ice weak as well. But I still felt, you know, pretty, pretty good in that, so... You know, fa fairly, fairly pleased with that one. I will say, I've just noticed that the camera is covering most of the screen, but yeah, you can see most of it. You'll get on with it. I'm not, not gonna go move my thing around just for one uh, replay. So um, yeah, that's about that. So I haven't actually narrated a battle in a while as well. Like I said, I'm just doing a lot of live com stuff. So. Nice and narrate battle, and again, I in that match, I just felt on top of things. And you really do appreciate just how good AV Toxicroak is. Because it is a strong motherfucker. I really, really, really like AV Toxicroak. And again, I really like a Violet Krogunk. It's very weird. Like, the entire line, fairly reliable. 
Oh, Krogunk. Beating Kabutops, like, it's just, it's what it does. It's what it does. Anyway, do a few more UUs and we'll, oh, oh not, oh, wait, Oopers. I'm gonna try again. Hey. What are you doing? Okay. Uh, what it be, it'd be that, yeah. Weird. Anyway, um, I'm gonna start off before I forget. Uh, I'm not gonna be doing any streaming pretty much till I have my test. And that de depends entirely on if I pass it. I'm feeling pretty confident at driving at the moment, so hopefully I should. Just gotta work around all the little niggles, because occasionally I do make a bit of a blunder. Or I don't check my mirrors properly, and shit like that. But, um, I'm not gonna be doing that till I pass my test, because, uh... I'm going to be having lessons on my weekend because I'm working now. So I don't really have the time to stream. Like, there's not really a good time for me. So, bit of a shame, but kind of going to have to deal with it, unfortunately. I'm not pleased either, believe me. But that's kind of where I'm at on proceedings. Anyway, Azel versus Azel Lee. I'm CB with you, turn. Unless he's scarfed, I'm alright. And even then, does it. Do they carry Shadow Ball? I don't think they do. So, I think I'm okay on that one. So I can just go for you turn. That is a very offensive team though. I'm assuming his Azelf is just set up Stealth Rocks, probably blow up, something in that region. So, that's fair. I think if I go for a U-turn, since it's CB and since it's against an Azelf, I should be able to bring it down low enough where Suicune could just come in and clean up with an extreme speed. So that'll be nice. Anyway, you Megas! Yeah! I don't even think I even talked about Mega Rayquaza, because it just looks stupid. <laughs> There's not much to say about Mega Rayquaza. I mean, it looks like the design's quite cool. Although it's just sort of like, it's got this massive chin thing, like massive chin thing, so whatever. But, um, yeah, it looks alright. And it's probably just gonna, you know, they're gonna have to make another tier above Ubers for Groudon, Rayquaza, maybe Mega Gengar, maybe, probably not. People want it, some people don't. But Groudon and Rayquaza, yeah, I can't quite see uh, Rayquaza getting away with that one, to be honest. Just, no, uh, no, I don't think so. I think with its ability, the only thing it's weak to is Dragon and Fairy? So, uh, uh, Xerneas will probably still have it. But if it gets a significant enough speed boost, it might just outspeed that. And again, it now gets an incredible stab flying attack. So I just think it's going to be too darn. I think it's no, I don't think it will survive in Ubers. I think it will go to its own separate ban list and people will have to wait. Or people can go play in that ban list. Or maybe we should just realize that Ubers is a ban list. So it's not really a proper tier. Oh, you below a of proper tiers, PU's a bit. But Ubers is kind of for the shit that is too good. You know, having another tier above that for shit that's really too good kind of seems a bit dumb, so that's kind of where I'm at, but if they do go that route, I mean, they're either just going to ban them outright or they're going to um, make another tier, I reckon, because Mega Ground on it looks too good to sit anywhere. It has one weakness, and that's ground. And its only other main weakness that could really kill it, i.e. water, is completely countered by its ability, which stops water-type attacks entirely. I'm still quite interested to see how the ground on Kyogre weather thing works out, but that's about all it is, because other than Kyogre, because I'm fairly certain his weather beats out Boggo weather, so you want to bring like a Politoed or a Boggo Kyogre, it's just going to get beaten out, so... All in all, fairly dumb, I think you'll all agree. Um, but there you go. Anyway, uh, Diancy should have abs, so maybe not. I should live a superpower. Although Diancy is notoriously unbulky. <laughs> like, pretty, pretty poorly unbulky, actually. Like, despite the amazing defenses, uh, it's HP, it's, it's a shuckle. That's what it is. It's a slightly higher tier but marginally less useful Shuckle. The only good thing is its Fairy Rock typing is actually quite niche and quite interesting. But it's not great. <laughs> I don't mind it. Anyway, if I can land a Moonblast on this thing, it depends if he wants to pull the trigger. Because he kind of has to, because everything else is Fairy weak, apart from Raikou. Which he could go into Raikou if he wanted to. 
but then I probably just kill that, and then I get up Stealth Rock, so... <laughs> can do what he likes, but... Um, Absol does present problems. No, he's actually gonna hang around for that. Fine. Fuck you, buddy. Yeah, you probably should have tried the Raikou, mate. He probably just going to Kingdra. I'm gonna try Stealth Rock, because I'm not too fast. Um, well, no, it could be a bit of a bastard, but I do have the red card Suicune to force it out, and I can just go for an Ice Beam. So, not the end of the world. Not not the end of the world. Oh, or he's just gonna forfeit. Fine. Anyway, so yeah, that's Mega Rayquaza. I think it looks like it's got a cool design and stuff, but I think it's just a little too stupid to actually be in Ubers. I think him and Mega Groudon, Mega Ky oh, uh, Primal Groudon, Primal Kyogre will stay. Because its ability isn't that impressive. Like, oh, it stops fire. Yeah, because it didn't do that to begin with. I mean, unless you use it in, like, Uber's doubles, that ability is fairly fucking pointless. Other than the rain boost, which you'd already get because it's a Kyogre. So, yeah, I don't see the massive significance in it. It's cool, but I'm not blown away. This team is actually really rather threatening. This could be a problem. Uh. This is where having my Bogro Celebi would be really nice, because U-turn for his Celebi, and I can U-turn on his, uh, oh, what is your name, Hydreigon. So there's that. Um, the two Latties were officially released, again, fucking disappointed in that. Fucking disappointed. I really hope that, I, I don't even know why they're on X and Y, I don't even know why Volcanion is. They're going to have to do updates for all the new Megas anyway and the new moves that the Primal Forms get, and the Mega Rayquaza get, so I don't see what the significance was supposed to be in that. I really don't. I failed to, entirely. But they did it, so... Hmm. You're gonna U-turn out and go to Cabalion. There you go. I do have a bit of a problem with Cabalion, actually. In fact, I do have a problem with that. Apart from Suicune, which doesn't really count because I don't want to use its uh, red card straight away, I have no real walls. <laughs> it's a bit of a problem. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to kind of force the issue with Nido King, I think. Ooh, that's poor. I do outspeed it. Not the end of the world. I'll go Earth Power to break its sub. That hurt. Um, Hydreigon will be as the next, so I'm gonna go to Diancy. Hey! It could have been Crobat, but I don't care either way. I can just go for a Moonblast. I'll go for Stealth Rocks, actually, unless he has Flash Cannon. Could do. I know I ran Flash Cannon on my Hadragon, but that was more for Floor Gears, which I haven't seen in years. Now he's going to go U-turn. Okay. I think Fire Blast is the better option, but Flash Cannon works. It's not terrible. But then again, no one runs Focus Energy Hydreigon, despite it being amazing and actually to it going Blissey with Superpower with no investment. I don't know what you call that, I call it good. It was like, oh, I'll just switch in the Sponge's Hydreigon, it's like, no you fucking won't. Piss off. Anyway, Stealth Rocks, cool beanies. Um, I guess I kind of need to go into Celebi. Nothing really doing with that. Um, I guess I just go Zen Headbutt, in case he wants to try Crobat. Because Crobat will outspeed me, and he might be going for a Defog, which would make sense. That's ballsy, actually. Fair enough. Ballsy indeed. I kind of need to go into fucking Diancy, but then he goes into Pert, Cabalion, Celebi, pretty much anything he wants. The only real thing I could do is go into Sweet... Uh, but I don't want to burn Suicune just yet. I guess, like, no, even if it doesn't really matter what the fuck I go into, he's gonna get fucking initiative anyway, so I don't know why I'm saying things. I don't know why my mouth is producing words. I may as well just go into Diancy because he's gonna go U turn, he's gonna get switch initiative no matter what I do. So, don't know where I'm going with that one. Just gonna have to kinda suck it up. Okay, he could just go Iron Head trying to kill Nido King straight out. He could predict the switch into Nido King and go back into Hydreigon. It all works. But I. T tend to doubt that one. Um, but I kind of need to go into Nido King. I just need to break this fucker's sub, unfortunately. I could go Hidden Power Fire if I really wanted to be cheeky. In fact, at some point, I predict I will. But, well, cross that bridge when we come to it. Anyway, Earth Power, break the sub, live, thank you. Now, do I predict the switch to Hydreigon again? I guess I go Earth Power again. 
Because we'll see. Because uh, what did I go into last time? I went into Diancy. No, he's going to do it again. This man is playing it incredibly safe. But again, I couldn't really switch out anyway. So, whatever. Oh, I outsped you. So, I guess that means maybe specs. I don't know. Still, though, do you know what that means? That means a Zelf outspeed. That's very encouraging. So, yeah, now I'm going to Diamond Seed. I can go for Moonblasts and whatever. I guess Diamond Storm, but I kind of really want to go Moonblast, to be fair. Um. I mean, he can go Defog if he wants. I'm not. It's not the end of the world. But he knows I can go Diamond Storm. So, I'm predicting Per or Cabalion. Because it kind of makes sense. Ah, oh, no, he's going to bugger off out. Okay. Well, he's going to take another 50% coming back in then. It's not. I'm not too fast. Diancy's quite good here at the moment. Uh, Celebi presents problems. Well, kind of everything presents problems for Diancy. I like its niche coverage, but the fact that it's kind of really fucking slow presents problems. Alright, he's going to go to Per. Um, EQ's fairly obvious. If I everything's really fairly fucking obvious, I guess I just go into Celebi. He could go into Hydreigon, but I think this time I will just go C bomb. I just need damage on it. School, don't burn, don't burn, don't burn. Thank you. <sighs> right, C bomb, I guess. If it wants to go into Crobat, I think a Sucker Punch will kill it, unless it's bulky. Ah. Do I really give a shit? He hasn't got an item. Wonder. Oh, oh my God! It's another physical Celebi. What are the odds? That's incredible. I guess I. Oh yeah, no, we're having an SD. What is a speed tie as well? Oh shit! This is terrible. Who's gonna win the speed tie of the physical Celebi? Go, go! Oh, he wins two in a row, and it's life or Are you fucking serious? Who the fuck runs look for what? When? Why? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go go figure, I guess. Go figure. Uh, you know, shit happens. Um Apparently it's not that rare. Bullshit, it's not that fucking... It's, it kiss my ass. it's properly rare. Who the fuck runs a physical Celebi? I call lies on that one. Uh, the problem I have is he's plus three, he can go Sucker Punch, but I kind of need to go Ice Punch. Yay. I made the play, although that thing has put a horrible dent, because uh, either way, it was a 50-50 coin flip of one of us coming out with a strong Celebi, so... Yeah, I know you thought Sucker Punch, that's why I went Ice Punch. Yeah. So, yeah, that's cool though, Physical Celebi! Someone else likes it! Yay! Because it's so good! More people need to use it. I don't even know what the fuck I do against this. I know what I can do! I'm going to be a cheeky little arsehole! Aha! Let's go CBU turn. Oh, that does not do enough. T. <laughs> I can play this game. <laughs> um, he's not. There's no way. There he goes. EQ again. No, I mean uh, schooled again. There's no way. I don't know. I don't really know what to do. But it's sort of. Uh, do I do it again? Predict. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I think I do it again, predicting the EQ, and then I stay in predicting another one. There you go. See, I can play this game. I can play this game great. Alright, now let's go Resident Headbot. Yay! Look at me go! Now, do I predict the Hydreigon? Oh, so many levels of prediction. Nope, there you go. That's quite good. That's, that's satisfying. That's satisfying indeed. Now, <laughs> <coughs> fucking hell. Um, 
I guess, yeah, fine. He's slowly taking chip damage with Stealth Rock, so maybe at some point I can go into Suicune and kill him that way. <laughs> oh, the cheeky extreme speed. But I need to keep Suicune as healthy as I can. Um, Cabalion does present problems, though, but I know I do have the Fire Punch. So, that's a thing. But I don't really want to go down that route. I kind of just need to stay in, really. Yeah. I kind of needed to. Um, nothing, nothing really doing there. So yeah, I'll go into Azalf. Um, you actually think about it. Do I really need to keep Sweeping? Nah. I just need to keep it at high enough health that it's going to tank Hydreigon, basically. Anyway, Banded Fire Punch! Oh no, Azelf, you let me down! How? I wonder if he's going to try and save Cabalion. He could do. Oh, I'm on 11.3. I die anyway. Yeah. So he's going to get to go into Shandy for free. Not good. Or oh, Hydreigon, I guess. I think I outspeed him. I don't really know why he didn't go into Chandelure, actually. Trying to save the Stealth Rock damage or something. Yeah, I outspeed the Hydreigon, because I saw I did with Nido King, so I get a nice cheeky little hit off on that. Ah, he's going to go Dark Pulse, eh? Um, I think I'm fairly fucking sure. Okay, I'm going to go into Suicune. Hopefully Dark Pulse will activate my red card, because Thunderbolt doesn't for some unknown. <gasps> the play! Oh my god! Oh my god! Do Yes! Extreme Speed Suicune! You can't handle this! Get out! <laughs> oh... Even if I lose, because Crobat... No, Crobat cannot pull this off. GG, my friend! GG! GG! Oh, that was... Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, man. I love that. I love that. Fucking Suicune just pulled it off. Oh, I mean, that, that's, that's the kind of thing. That makes you feel really warm and fuzzy inside. It's like, you know, the part place. Like, you just think, oh, it's, oh, it's so nice. <sighs> I'm very satisfied now. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about, because now I feel really smug. I don't like feeling smug. Yeah. That, that, that was enjoyable, though. That, that was nice. That was, yeah, yeah. Lovely. Lovely. Anyway. God, I can't remember where I got up to on the Dilatis. Oh yeah, um, they said that you can like fly on them in the overworld, that's quite cool, I guess, it's not very helpful, but again, they look exactly the same, I was really hoping that they would just kind of be like, put on X and Y as like a beta form, or like, a, you know, sort of alpha design thing, they were just shoved in there as an afterthought, because again, they're going to have to patch the games, I don't know why they're there, they're going to have to patch in all kinds of shit, so I don't know why they bothered to put the latty designs in there, but yeah, they do look exactly the same, and that's really dumb and depressing to me, it's just like, really... I don't care what kind of background story you have for this or whatever. Why did you make a background story or come up with an, a concept that means they have to look exactly the same? That just seems dumb. Why would you limit yourself with your own shit? Silly game freak. So yeah, other than that, the, the only thing that's different are the stats and the moves and whatever, but I know. I think the other thing <coughs> that I'm interested in, I'm starting to lose my voice, I've been shouting so much. Um, is what's the significance of the defensive boost? Because if you get more out of um, having the soul you, it's going to be kind of difficult to see the point. On the other hand, the offensive and speed boost might matter more, especially for like Latias. But you've kind of got to wonder what is, you know, 
are the defensive boosts better than having a soul dew, which is like, like one and a half times in each defense. So I think that's the only thing I'm kind of really interested in from their point of view, but it's not that amazing. I was a bit disappointed, like say, I was really hoping that in XY it was just an alpha design, but no, that's what they actually look like. And again, the thing that really annoyed me is in Karo Karo, they showed on Sarah B, if I can find the picture, you probably won't be able to see it especially well because my fat fucking face is in the way. But you can see that they have little sh like little faces and all. You know, oh, you can't see that bit. Actually, you might be able to. Yeah. Look. Oh, look. They're smiling. Oh, look. They got funny faces. Oh, it's just like they're the same fucking thing. You lazy gimps. So like have another guy. And again, they've got like. Oh, hang on. If I scroll over a bit more. Ah, oh, you can't see it. But like, here they've got like. Oh, Latios goes to that one. And then that's got a different pose. And then it's like, Latios goes to that one, and that's got a different pose. Like, they are it, just the same thing. And maybe the eye colours... Yeah, the eye colours the only difference. That I can see. Or maybe ones are slightly... No, I don't fucking know. Again, it's just depressing. Alright? That's what it is. It's depressing. Um, but yeah. Other than that, that's all you get out of that. And then, um, Mega Beedrill and Mega Pidgeot. Mega Pidgeot looks amazing. I want that to be a thing that I can have. I want a Mega Pidgeot. Um, Mega Beedrill gets adaptability. Depending on how much speed it gets, that could be pretty fucking good. I could see that being very good. Like, adaptability Mega Horn? Yes, fucking please. And you know, that gets T-Spikes and Defog, so that's pretty hype. Uh, Pidgeot, or Pidgeot's in kind of the same boat as well. Like, depending on the defensive boost, it would make a really good Defogger. Um, and the other thing is that it gets no guard, so you get no guard hurricane and heat wave. It's not bad, not bad at all. Anyway, that's pretty much my thoughts on that. I think Beedrill will probably be RU ish, depending on how much speed. If, like, if it gets a lot of speed, it will be higher up, because adaptability, that thing is going to hit like a fucking train. Um, Pidgeot, probably RU as well, unless it gets a really significant defense boost. Because, like I say, as a roof defogger, it does sound quite good, and with no guard, Hurricane, that's going to be pretty impressive. Anyway, I think this will be the last battle, but I am feeling very smug about that last one. I'm feeling very smug indeed. Um, he's got Dom Fam, a champ, and uh, Stealth Rocks be pretty, pretty helpful here, all things considered. But I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go with Suicune. Ha, <laughs> Spider Pig. Well played. Go over a Hydro Pump. Now, this might look weird, but he's going to go Sticky Web. This much, fairly fucking obvious. That's fine. He's going to do a lot of that, and I'm going to go Miracle. I think Thunder act Oh, Volt Switch. Oh, okay. No! God! Oh, that's the one thing! The one thing I hate! I hate more than anything, ever! That's so mean! That's so rude! That's hateful! Oh, it's AV fucking Machamp and all. Ah! I made the play! I made the play, that would have killed it. Why couldn't it go into Don Manitown or Don Fan? Hmm? Ah, oh, of course it would pick Hydreigon. Oh well, it can't come off every single time. I'd love it if it did, but it can't. Um, there's no point keeping Suicune here. I guess maybe to kill Don Fan, but fuck it. I have Nido King, I have Celebi, I don't care. I'd rather just get damage on this like that. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you. And I can just go for an extreme speed and then it's nearly dead. Thank you. Oh, double crit. It's all right, sweet coon. You made up for it. You made up for it in the end, lad. I can I can handle that. Oh, that's that's pretty rough though. Um the only problem I've got is Nido King is going to be slow as dick. Uh, I really need to make sure his elf is very fucking alive. Like, incredibly so. Because it's the only thing that isn't going to get buggered. Um, hopefully, because he has Sticky Web, that suspects I Dragon, in which case his elf is going to be well useful. It's going to kick the crap out of some things. Um, if I go into Diancy, he's going to go into Nido King or Don Fan. If I go into Celebi, Darmanitan's coming in. Oh, Super Galvantula. My Nido King won't have his Nido King or really anything else. I think I have to go into Celebi.
because it kind of forces in the right things, and if he goes into Galvantula, I might be able to sucker punch it. Whereas if he goes into Dark Manitan, I just have to switch. So, not pleased. He could go into Nino King if he wanted to, but hopefully he won't try that. Yeah, exactly. Sucker punch. And you're dead. <laughs> okay. I'm assuming Hydreigon now. What? What? Oh, what? Fuck. What? Why? Okay then. Fuck me, that does a lot. Oh, Celebi! He could go Stealth Rocks if he has it. Ah, uh, and he does. And he does. Well played. Thinking about it. Wait, Stealth Rocks wrap his bit. Wait, you don't have Ice Shot, do you? I'm assuming you've got Rapid Spin in there. Because, surely... Oh, oh, fuck me! I cancelled! Game! You fucking cunt. That's disappointing. He went knockoff again. Like I thought he would. Oh, um... Um, not the end of the world, I don't think. Probably not. A little bit. I just go for a banded knockoff. Yeah, he didn't have my shot at all. I could have just gone for another seed bomb and stopped stealth rocks and still had a free sucker punch left over to hit anything I wanted. That's a bit rough, but I don't know. It's quite clever to bluff it though. <laughs> Everyone's running Hydreigon. It's so good in Yu Yu. I'm quite surprised it's still here actually, but the U turn is painfully obvious, but I kind of have to nom it. Um Yeah. Yeah, well, the thing is, if I do that, you're going to go into Nido King. I kind of need to go into my own Nido King and either sack it. Yeah. Because my Nido King is fucking worthless here. No, oh, he's going to U-turn, okay. Well, you can either go into his Nido King and go for an Earth Power. I think my only problem is, if he's timid, then he's going to outspeed me regardless, and I don't get to see what he is. So he may well just win right here. Although I know I can outspeed him, so it's not the end of the world, but it kind of is. Alright, he's got Ice Beam. Well, if he's got Ice Beam, that kind of makes me think that he's Scarfed. Which kind of makes me want to try Toxicroak. Or Diancie, because I could really use some fucking Stealth Rocks right now. But I could be entirely wrong, and he may just win from here. Yep, I'm wrong. Okay. He is Life Orbed. Fine. He could have just made an interesting bluff or predicted to switch back to his elf. Both work. Um, I guess I go Zen Headbot. Yeah, it's nice that you killed his elf, but that's kind of it. And since I don't have Diancy, I can't shrug off Darmanitan, so he just wins from here. And I can go into this guy, but he goes Fire Blast. No. I guess it kind of depends what sort of Darmanitan it is, really. Go Soccer Punch, get a bit of damage. It could be banded. If it's banded in specs, there's a hope and a dream in there. It's not much of one, but there is one. Unfortunately, I kind of need to go U-turn to uh, realize that dream, and U-turn is 35 base power. I know I'm banded, but no. I need to try it anyway. Oh, I outsped. I need, I don't know, I need to kill it. it. That's how it works. Good game. Anyway, and then that was a nice battle there. Or, no, it was a nice video. Nice video, all in all. I actually got to talk about the fucking Megas. No stream for a while, or no streaming for a while. I know it kind of sucks. I enjoyed the streaming as well after I got into it for a while. Um, but, yeah, I know. I, with work and then driving, and I really need to fucking pass my test. Um, I just have too many commitments, I guess. Um, it's a shame. It is a shame, but yeah, it's gonna have to wait for a while. Same with the capture board, because, like, I need clothes and shit. I need clothes. I need to make sure I have enough money to get, uh, ORAS. I need, like, just stuff, basically. I need to get a new graphics card as well. I am gonna get a cheap one, but I do need one. So, capture board will probably be ordered at least when ORAS shows up, so I won't have it straight away because it'll probably take quite a while to show up, 
But, oh no. Well, maybe they're cheap. In fact, I should probably go ask Coop or Nick about that. Because they might... I don't know where they got... Well, I know. Why would Coop know? Coop doesn't have one. Well, he, he doesn't know people either. Oh no. I'll go ask Nick or something. And ask where he got his. And see if it's any cheaper. Because I remember the markup being, quite frankly, fucking ludicrous. So, yeah. If it's a little bit cheaper, then I might get it straight off the bat. I don't know. Couldn't tell you. But that's kind of the hope and the dream. And then, um... Yeah. By just, like, I don't know, halfway through December, we'll see if I've still got a job, and we'll see if I'll be getting a PS3 and a TV and all pink shit, so... Everything's kind of really up in the air at the moment, it's basically what I'm trying to say. And at some point next year, uh, probably around April-ish, i.e. my birthday, I do intend to move out. So... For, like, for the next six months, everything's kind of weird. I don't know if I'll ever set settle down properly, but yeah, everything's kind of weird. So... Whatever. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I had a nice little video. Got a bit smug. Don't know why I get smug. Um, yeah, Terry's Gauntlet will uh, show up probably around the same time this video goes up, I would have thought. No, I'm just going to throw this up, then throw Terry's Gauntlet up and be like, well, hey. So, anyway, I'm going to have a drink, and then I'm going to try and clear my throat, and uh, go record that. So, I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace.